Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe from Workbench and I'm here with another tutorial, really quick one today. I use this technique a lot when uh, I need to make like a displacement map. Um, and you might be, you know, wondering like, oh, well, how do I do that quickly? And so I'm gonna show you guys, let's do this. We're gonna just call this random. All right, and so the technique for that one in particular was to draw a line and give it a stroke that's gray. I put it at 128 because that's uh, when nothing should be happening. Nothing ahead or behind. And uh, I'll leave it that size. And then we'll go into here. I'll add a repeater. And I'll do just for this thing, like 30. You have to play with this depending on what size your comp is and what direction you're drawing your lines in. Um, I'll give it an offset of negative 15. I'm just gonna make these go vertical. So we're gonna do that. Uh, Go this way, that's fine. And then we're gonna add a wiggle transform. And for some reason it always wants to put it above the repeater. I have no idea why, it's really stupid. So we're gonna move that down. And uh, cause otherwise nothing will happen. Turn this down to zero cause I don't really want this to animate over time. And then just start changing position up. And you have to play between this and your repeater. See kind of where you want it to go. And even copies, let's do 60 just to see what it looks like. This is still gonna leave some background showing always. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click, make it, we're gonna deselect our layer, double click, and then move that one down below. I'm gonna make this one a little darker. Um, so I'm gonna move it down to here. I'm not gonna make it black or anything, but you could. That would just be the, the uh, maximum amount of uh, offset in your time. And here we'll go, and here's where the uh, the important part is, I guess. You're gonna take this, and you are going to change your opacity. So as you can see, now we get all these lines. This square is from the, uh, the stroke on the shape in the back. Actually, I didn't want that to be stroke, so I'm gonna copy that. Turn that off, go to fill, paste that number in, and there we go. Now you can just play with your random amounts, your uh, your random seed over here. In my original one for Workbench, I made uh, I made my shape just a lot longer. So you can just do that, extend this, and you might have to make more copies or whatever. But so you can get a rotated one. So it's pretty easy, um, and it can make your animations a lot more complex. Like I said, that's used a lot in the uh, intro to this very video. So um, all those parts where everything breaks up and all that kind of stuff, that's just a time displacement using a map that's actually using this exact map right here. So, so that's it, guys. Thanks for following us, and uh, keep watching Workbench.tv for more great content. I'll see you guys later. Bye.